The United States military's Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter is considered one of the most deadly and capable aircraft anywhere in the world today, and it has been suggested it is unrivaled as well. However, at least one Russian test pilot has suggested that the F-35 would be no match for Russia's own Sukhoi Su-57. While both are fifth-generation, multi-role fighters designed to destroy all types of air, ground, and naval targets, Magom Tolboev, a renowned test pilot who celebrated his 70th birthday on January 20, said that the Russian Su-57 would have the advantage were it to face an F-35 in a one-on-one -on -one dogfight. Maneuverability would be the Sukhoi-built aircraft's greatest advantage, according to Tokoyev, who boasted that it would not be a close fight either. Su-57 will kill an F-35, easily, should they meet one-on-one, -on -one, Tolboyev told TASS. The F-35 cannot maneuver, it's simply incapable, but it does has electronic might. However, even that advantage would be easily disrupted by solar flares Tokoyev added, noting this is why I oppose everything electronic. A retired Major General, Tolboyev is also an honored test pilot and has been awarded the title of Hero of Russia. During his service, he piloted more than 50 types and modifications of Russian military aircraft including the MiG-29, MiG-31, Su-24, and Su-27. In the mid-1980s, Tolboyev also participated in the Energia Buran space program where he underwent a full training course for manned space flights on multiple-use spacecraft. In his career, he also studied the concept of dogfights, and it is worth noting that when he was born in 1951, the North American F-86 Sabre took on MiG-15S in such aerial combat sorties over Korea. And while he also praised the Su-57 as a brilliant plane, but suggested the time of such one-on-one -on -one dogfights are essentially a thing of the past. Today, you no longer fight one-on-one, -on -one, Tokoyev added. Everything depends on your support. There is electronic warfare today. This is no longer a sparring tatami, but a complex approach to tactical issues. The Su-57 is currently entering service with the Russian Air Force. It features supersonic cruising, internal weapon bay, radio-absorptive coating, and the newest avionics complex. All of it is beyond the technology that Tokoyev may be unfamiliar with, and if anything the aircraft's platform is only getting more advanced. In December it was announced that the first batch-produced Su-57 fighter was also used for testing of hypersonic weapons at a test flight test center in Aktobinsk. The first batch-produced fighter Sukhoi Su-57 will be used for testing hypersonic air-launched weapons at the flight test center in Aktobinsk. A number of fundamentally new air-launched attack weapons is being developed by the Tactical Missiles Corporation. Currently only MiG-31K fighters stationed in the Southern Military District are capable of carrying hypersonic missiles Kinzel. Earlier, a source told TASS that the first serial multi-role fifth-generation fighter Jet Su-57 was delivered to an air regiment in the Southern Military District. Additionally, last month, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu told the Defense Ministry's board meeting that a total of 22 Su-57 jets would be provided for the Russian armed forces by the end of 2024. Under a contract signed in 2019, a total of 76 Su-57 jets are to be supplied by the end of 2028. Starting from 2022 the Su-57 jets will be equipped with second-stage engines. Закрыли. Закрыли форму.